This is what the LED looks like at the back of your TV and it gives you the light so that you can see the image. So this TV here, it's not turning on. You press the power button, but the screen remains black there. There is no image. The power button is flashing, so we are getting power. And also there's a red light at the back at the digital audio output. If you look at your screen carefully, you can actually see the image, but it's very faint. If you shine a light on it, you can actually see it. If we look very carefully, we can have uh, in this one, you can see it says no signal. And so this means that it is a backlight issue. And over 90% of the times, if the TV turns on, but there's no image, it's probably your backlight if you have an LED TV. So this version here doesn't have any screws. So we can just uh, pry up the edges there and get that plastic bezel off and so that we can look at all the internal circuitry. So this is your main board right here and it's connected to your power supply button. And then we have some speakers and this is the power supply. Connected to the power supply are some cables that go to your backlight. And it has a little a blue cable there as well, but we can disconnect and we can use the LED tester to test it out. Here are a couple of images just in case if you need to order these boards. So on that power supply board, you can actually see that it actually tells you which pin is which. And using my LED tester, I can test them. You should be getting 22.9 volts on one LED strip. I'm testing one LED strip and it's not reading any voltage. That's 290 is just the default voltage. So I know that this is 100% a backlight issue. So I'm just removing the speakers and the power supply button. And then flipping over the TV, we need to remove the outside bezel that holds on the LCD. After we have the front bezel off, we can flip the uh, circuitry at the bottom and then we can remove the screen off. To do this, you can use some electrical tape and just tape the uh, circuitry on the bottom of the LCD on top. And then I'm using some suction cups to remove the LCD. There's some plastic... Uh, uh, bezels as well that we can remove and then there are some white pages uh, filter paper that we can tape together and remove as well so this is what's the inside of the tv and you can see there's actually a series of three strips of leds and one of those strips are not working so we can actually flip over the paper and there's a plus and minus that we can test with our led tester Using my LED tester here, I'm going to apply some voltage to each strip to see which ones turn on and which ones do not. So I'm testing the middle strip here and you can see the lights are actually all coming on. So just with one LED that is broken, the whole strip will not go on. So identify which strip is bad and then we need to find the individual LEDs on that strip. Removing the piece of paper. I, I checked through this and I also found a ladybug in this TV. I wonder if this was a bug in the system. What, what, what caused this problem? I have no idea or how, even how it got in. But we can test each LED. There's a little diode there with a little plus and minus so that we can test. I tested this one and it's a bad LED so I can pop off the filter. This is a look at the LED. It is bad there. You can see the burnt mark that's shooting out of it. So that basically this LED burnt and blew up. So I'm going to remove this bad LED right here. I'm just scraping it off. And then I'm going to use my razor blade to make these contacts a little bit bigger because my replacement LED is a little bit bigger as long as it has the same voltage and it should be fine. So here's my replacement LED. The older version TVs use smaller LEDs. This is a more modern version of a, of a backlight LED. So I need to be putting this on there. This is about three millimeters by three millimeters. On the back, you can see it has a small tab. The small tab is uh, uh, positive and the bigger one is uh, negative. So we need to make sure it has the correct orientation. How, what order should it be? You just go over and it actually has a plus and minus on the diode there. So just make sure it's the same polarity as this. I put some liquid solder on the pads there and then I can put my replacement LED on this. The liquid solder there, you can see it's it has these little beads that are in the solution. And then when you heat it up with your heat gun, it will make uh, us contact using the solder. The solder is basically going to melt to 
give the contact to this LED. So here I have it uh, heated up. Just scrape uh, away any of the old solder there that's not on that and uh, verify that it works. Also, there's this weird component called W1 and I found out that this is a fuse and it's broken. So I'm going to have to remove this fuse and put then um, uh, fix this issue. What I did is I put some solder there and the other LEDs in series can act like a fuse as well. And here we go, all the LEDs are working. Uh, you can just plug it in without putting the screen on to verify everything's working. Now I've put the screen on, you can see it's turning on and we're getting the picture there and we're getting sound. So that's how to replace your TV, it's a very common problem. And uh, instead of replacing the whole strip, you can replace the individual LEDs and it should get your TV um, uh, some more life. If you like this video, please hit the like um, button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.